What's up, y'all? <clears throat> Welcome to day 607, episode number 607, Megan Songbringer, and today I'm working on bug fixing. So I'll be going through some things that people have found um, playing the game's launch version. And um, one thing I've already fixed is the Linux like dual monitor setup or multi-head. If you have two monitors or more, um, that should work now. I tested it all out on my own dual monitor situation here. Um, and um, okay, so now I'm going to jump into some other bug fixes. This first one here was um, somebody found a place where there were two flasks or like a, you got the same flask more than once. So let's jump to that place. Let's make sure the audio is all good though. Yeah, at least they're in, at least they're in that. Okay. So this is world, well, let's get the original save file. What's up, Airwolf? Good to hear. How's it going today? Whoops. Okay, there. I got a save file set up. So this world is Mega Seed, or I mean, the Mega Seed, as in the World Seed, is coffee, and position is zero zero negative forty one. Right? Yeah, okay. So apparently there's two flasks in this world, or maybe even in all worlds, I'm not sure. It's not really like they're different flasks. There's there's actually three flasks in every world, but it's it basically the bug is that this one, this particular flask appears in more than one place. So what is this? This is flask empty three. We're at, yeah, we're at zero, zero, negative 41. So we definitely have a flask, the flask empty three there. Cool, man. You about to go to sleep? Yeah. You're over in Europe. I hear you, man. Lots of people will watch from Europe. They're always about to go to sleep about now. That's why I try and that's why I try and stream about now. It seems to be kind of like a good time for you guys. You can catch it, you know, before you're going to bed. And then also people here in in like this time zone or near this time zone can catch it in the afternoon. And then for everybody else, there's the YouTube videos. Yeah, it's almost 1 a.m. Dang, you're up, you're up late. What do you got to do tomorrow? Okay, and then I can look at the log. I've got this really detailed logging going on because I'm in debug mode. And I can find out if there's another flask empty three somewhere, which there probably is. It's there. No, that's the only place for it? What? Oh man. So uh, now I gotta go back and try and find this original tweet where we were, this was being discussed. Currently not working, all right, cool. At least you don't have to go to work in the morning or something. <clears throat> oh, man. How do you search your own tweets? Like, can you can you go into your, everything that's been in your notifications and I mean, I could just try and open them all up. And then search. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay, it's on second of September at about noon. Yeah, 
it won't add to my inventory. It reappears when, whenever I return to the area. Ah, that's weird. Oh, there is an advanced search. That's probably what I was looking for. PETA, what's up, man? Bella Zio. How you been, PETA? Let me just copy this description here. It won't add to his inventory? Well, I guess let's try that. Let's try adding to the inventory and see what happens. Thank you. Appreciate it. What else does this say here? Oh. He says he currently has three full flasks. How did he get three full flasks? Huh. Okay, so this is the this is the mystery of this bug. Like how how in this world coffee actually we can start with um now we have to start talking about the next project. Oh, if only it were that simple. Yeah, so no, the there's definitely going to be some updates coming out for Songbringer. So I'll be working on Songbringer at least through the end of the year. But next year, next year we can talk about the next project. Which will probably be Songbringer 2. I mean, maybe, maybe a DLC for Songbringer. I mean, there's free updates coming out for the rest of the year. But like after that, maybe there, maybe I could make a huge like tons of content and make it a DLC for Songbringer. I don't know. You want a pixel art survival horror, huh? S season pass? <laughs> Never. Never. I don't think I'll... Well, I never say never, right? Maybe one day in the future a season pass would make sense for some game, but I really don't I really don't like it when companies change the way their games play just to try and get you to pay more money. Like for example, the microtransactions in a lot of single player games. Yeah, season passes, right? DLC can be good and it can be bad. Like there's some some DLCs are great. Some well, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to it's hard to get any make a statement on that, but you know what I mean, right? Anything it's like I guess it really boils what it boils down to is like greed. If the company that's doing it is kind of greedy, it will come across. Right, yeah, that's the thing, right? Some DLCs shouldn't even be shouldn't even be a DLC. What about, are there other flasks somewhere in this world? No? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if you pick up this empty flask and then go fill it up and then come back? So what do I got so far? I got in this save file, no flasks right now. Pick that up. Um, I don't really know where the store is here, so I'm just going to cheat to fill it up. 
<coughs> Excuse me. We've got flask empty three. Switch that over to a full flask. Oh wait, is that is that the bug basically? Thanks, man. Um, flask. These are oh, these are all zero one. Okay, so I did it right. I basically gave myself well. Yeah, I guess that is right. So flask full one, flask empty three is now zero, which means you can pick it. Oh, this is probably what the bug is. Yeah, so you already have a full flask. It just appears. So really there's, there really this wasn't a bug of the, the game putting an extra flask in the game. It's just that if you already have a full flask, it, see that I'm equipping the, that full flask it should you shouldn't be able to pick up the empty flask if you have the full flask equivalent so yeah so the easiest way to fix this is basically to make it not create that item The first one you get from Brutus, Brutus, that's a whole story event. So that that will that's something that you're never gonna trigger again. So that's good. That one that one's covered. The second one you get from the thief boss. So the thief. Let me just search for that flask. Empty two, I think, is the one. Ah, here we go. That's something I should check too, I guess, how that how that mechanic works. Okay, so in the in the create items function, it should not create an empty flask if you have the corresponding full flask. Don't create empty flask if has corresponding full flask. So if this is a flask, Soul item. Yeah. You mean what? For what do you mean? The streaming? What's blocked? You mean this? Is something wrong with the stream? Looks all right. Oh, all right.
doesn't get the hero till here. What's up, Sly? Hello. It's out. Really? It's out on PlayStation 4 now? Oh, I guess it is. It is like the fifth on somebody's, right? Where are you at? Are you on in Europe? In Europe, it's already the fifth. Right now, I'm in, uh, I'm over here in the west coast of the United States, so it's still the it's still the fourth here. Sweden, right on. So it is. It's out for you. Cool, man. Nice, right on. Yeah, nine hours, right? This is a lot. It's a big difference. So we need to know the players info here so I guess we just do it right here so if this is an empty flask it's not the flask refill and hero.gear.count. So the corresponding item would be item minus K flask empty one plus K item flask and full one. If that, if we have that item, then continue. Okay, I'm gonna set a breakpoint there just to make sure I did that math correctly with the item minus the flask empty plus the flask full. I think that's right, but it's a good idea just to check. Nice, right on, you got it too. Cool. Oh, I'm excited to see how it goes on PlayStation today. Um, yeah, so it launched on Xbox last Friday, Steam, Gog. What's up, Red Saint? <laughs> right on, man. Thank you. You bought it twice. You bought it more than once. Everybody, Alex Pita supported the uh, the Kickstarter years ago. Back in 2015, that's when the Kickstarter was for this. Okay, so I'm setting a breakpoint here just to make sure this works as intended. Basically, I should just boot right into this room and it should hit this breakpoint and we'll verify it. And what should happen is you, it won't create this item because I have the full flask version. Yeah, you got 32 of those you can earn. So PlayStation's got 32. They all, all the versions all have 32 achievements or trophies. And there may be some added. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, man, I am. I am thankful. I'm very thankful and humbled to have your support over the years. Okay, to this breakpoint, this is the item, there it is, yeah, flask empty three, now, stepping into this method, counting item type, flask full three, good, okay, I did the math right, and this should return true, yeah, or an integer, good, okay, so that's going to skip that. Great. And we good. We don't have the flask on the ground. Because we already have the full version here. Okay, now let's verify that it works in reverse. So if I don't have the flask full three should still it now it should be back on the ground. We 
go. Cool. We can pick it up. Oh, you know what I'll do? Let me just get back to my world wizard so I can refill it. Yeah, Ziggy D, right? I didn't get a catch Ziggy D doing his Twitch stream, but I did get a catch um, of a JJ and a few others, a few other people. It was cool. Chrono, Chrono did a promotion on it and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one. It is. I can verify it is possible. I have done this. You can beat the game without the sword. It's tricky. One tip, one tip though, is you can actually, if you want to go for that achievement, um, is you can use the world seed Vel, just like the character's name. I'll type it in the chat here. But that that world seed Vel will start you off with Vel, which actually makes the t the swordless run a bit easier, especially at first, because you have her attack power helping you out. But it's also a little bit harder too because you don't get to pick up her any health because. She doesn't get health. She just has the attack power. It's a trade-off. But anyways, that achievement is possible. It's a, it's difficult to beat the final boss without the sword, but it is entirely possible. You basically just need to upgrade your hat, have some really good damage, a good elements to craft it with. So we're going for where, World Seed Wizard now. And let's find out where the Flask 3 is in World Seed Wizard. And I can pick it up, go fill it up, go back to the cave, make sure that all works. Oh my god, is it in exactly the same room? Where is this on the map, by the way? Oh, it's down there? That's where the Flask 3 is? That's a, that's a find. Right on. Yeah. I know, right? There's been a lot of there's been a lot of streams over the days. Are you serious? This is in the same place? Wow. Yeah, there it is. Well, that's handy. Great. Okay, so I can actually play this without any changes to the data. Okay, so I'm picking up the flask empty. I'm gonna go fill it up. Now it's in my inventory. So I'm going to the store. I happen to know where the store is because this is my speedrun world. Whoops. That always happens going into God mode and running fast. I'm always like, whoops, I, I ran into a hole. I ran into a hole again. Oh, I haven't done the, the Spirits quest yet in this world. All right, we got to do that. First, wait, can I, can I actually get the refill? Okay, so I gotta, I gotta do this. Oh. Okay, so I halfway undid that quest. So I've gotta redo that quest. Or just get the... Ah, I gotta redo the quest. Okay, well, no problem. Where can you get the speed artifact? The, the thing that makes you run faster, they're called boots, and it's typically at the end of a dungeon. I could I could cheat and tell you where it is in, in your world if you have a world seed. Yes, right on! What? There's a Sewing Maker stream with 1,400 people watching it? Holy crap, that's awesome. That's like a lot. Where's that at? The most I saw this weekend was like 350.
Oh, oh, that, right. Oh, oh right, right. I got a win today. Sam Jones, what's up, my brother? Three months ah. ago. Much appreciated, dude. Sorry. Good to finally... Sorry about that. that. Do I know that guy? I feel like I know that guy. Mount, what's up, man? Whoa, check it out, Dex bonus. 1,400 viewers. Cool, man. That, that's rad. Hopefully they're still on when I'm done coding and I can like hop on there and say hi. Dex bonus. Oh, check it, really? There's a there's a chart of this kind of stuff? I never knew that. Whoa, steamcharts.com? I've never seen this. So this is 91 players concurrently. I think that's what it's trying to say. What's up, Zynger? How you doing, man? That's really good. 91 people playing um, a single player. Really like, you know, it's not easy to play Songbringer. It's easy to start Songbringer, but it's not easy to finish Songbringer. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I know all about Steam Spy. I'm really excited. It looks like Songbringer's off to a good start. You know what I mean? It looks like it's going to be a an average level success, which is great, right? That's all you can really want as an indie developer like me is like a, a, a success is amazing. You know, a failure is like a flop. You don't sell any copies of your game. That sucks. I've been there. I've had to deal with that emotional impact. It's crazy hard to do. But a success like this, this is great. God, this is so awesome, right? I can continue making Songbringer better with a peace of mind. So cool. It is. It's starting to pay off. All the years making this game. Okay, cool. I can't wait. I'm going to save a link to that. Can I do this? I'm going to watch that later. Okay, I got rid of the Brutus thing so I can actually do that quest. So I'm fixing this bug right now, if you just tuned in. I'm fixing a bug where if you, if you, there's a third flask, there's actually three flasks in every world. And if you pick up this third flask and then you go fill, it's an, it starts off empty and then you go fill it up. Um, and then you go back to the location where you found the empty flask, it'll it'll still be there, so. It's kind of a minor bug, but it's worth fixing for sure. It's not confusing. So I gotta do this quest here to get, so I can be able to fill the flasks later. Oops, <laughs> I got stuck. Here we go. Nice. Now we got the one flask. I'm always turning that off like I'm like uh, changing my save file so that it so I can redo that quest all the time because it's one of those things you gotta check. I agree. I love pixel art games. And I think they could be incredibly beautiful. 200 hours on Starbound? Whoa, yeah, Starbound's an, that's a, that's a huge success. That game's, I think they've sold, like, how many million copies of Starbound have they sold? It's, it's incredible. That game's a huge success.
Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, it does. It's it is a I felt it was a lot easier to um to be doing a pixel art game because I don't know, for some reason it was quick for me. I think some people have an like pixel art is not as natural for them, you know, and it's some people for some so for some people it's harder or I mean time more time consuming to do pixel art. But for me it was actually really quick. I was able to like put get a good process. It was very natural to me to draw pixels. Okay, so I'm filling up the flask from the store and running back to the exact same secret location just to make sure it's no longer there. Great. And I'm going to save it also just to check the file. All right, so we got a flash full one, that's from the quest. Flash full two, that's from this. You like cell shading? Cell shading's pretty cool. I like um, low poly too. Yeah, Steam Spy, totally. That's the one I was talking about. Um, how I, you know, you can get stats on how many sales or how many owners the game has. Right, that's the, yeah, that's it, right? When you start becoming a perfectionist, that's when art becomes slower, but it becomes better, so there's trade-offs there. But I, I hear you, totally. Um, one thing I should verify is that the Flask 2 does work, so I'm going to go fight. Let's go get the, the second Flask. This is a spoiler. If you haven't gotten the second flask yet, or all three flasks, you're going to be finding out how on this stream. So, spoiler alert, coming up. Some people do. Some people do. But I can personally attest that you could spend just as long making good pixel art as you, you could making other kinds of art. In fact, sometimes pixel art just takes longer because you're like, how do I even convey this little thing with such little pixels? And you end up spending more time. That too, yeah, I've, I've evolved a lot. Um, and if you want to, you can check out my TIG source too, like my TIG source or or the GIFs on songbringer.com. If you just scroll back into back in time, you'll be like, whoa, the art changed a lot. Okay, I need to make sure I've got, I can do the thief. Okay, I can do the thief. I need to find the thief. It's at one four zero. And I need to have enough bombs and stuff. Stick man only. Why not? Okay, so I'm warping straight to that location so I can test out this second flask. Yeah. It can. Alright, so once again, this is a spoiler. It's kind of cool though, this is the optional hidden boss. You get a rat item. I think I'm just going to save it there too. You can actually save halfway. So I don't have to do that again. Alright, next half of this. I'm definitely going to cheat to beat the- oh, whoops. That's why I saved halfway through. I can't do this part. It takes too long. 
Oh, that's a good question. So, um, I don't know. We'll see how we'll see how sales go. Of course, I would I would love to hire somebody else if I had enough funds. Um, I'm happy. I'm definitely happy solo though. I really love doing what I do. I definitely could not. I would have to find somebody that was just willing to work for me, kind of, and let me be the creative person. The kind of the, someone I need to find someone that's good at what they do, but like still lets me do make all the decisions. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love making all the decisions. I'm one of those people that wants to have complete 100% creative control over a project. So I need to find someone like that. She'd be happy to bring me coffee every morning. <laughs> Sweet. Right, yeah, I would definitely need an employee. You want Nico? Where is he? I haven't talked to Nico in a minute. I got to see how he's been. Okay, so I'm just going to cheat the beater cuz she's a this is a really long boss fight. I'm like hitting her with tons of damage on each one of those cheat code things and it's she's still not dead damn oh god this is a crazy boss fight if you're in a oh is the music off on this oh sorry about this guys I had the music settings a little wrong okay so the point is Pick up the empty flask, then go fill it up. Is it 60 frames a second? Oh, it's 60 frames a second too. No wonder my fan's going off. All right, where the hell is the store? Where am I? Where am I? Oh my God. I'm lost. Oh, I'm found now. I know where I am. Store's over here. All right. So if I fill up this flask too now, right? I've got two other flasks full already. I'm gonna fill up this number two, but it's the third one. Now, if I go back in here, I shouldn't be able to refill anymore. Right, you can still purchase a cactus though. Now if I go back to the area where the thief boss was. Which was somewhere over here. Where the hell was it? One. Oh, it's up to the right a little bit. Aha. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, right, right, right. Yeah, this totally works with the story event. There's no way that it's just going to trigger the flask to come back. Well, hell, let's try it. I'll save and quit there, maybe restart, maybe perchance it might. Yeah, no, it's not going to. Okay. Okay, so that bug, this bug right here, only affected that one flask out of three. But it's fixed now. All right, so let's get this checked in. It should be a relatively short fix. It's like only three lines. Yeah. Okay, so but I always do this. I always review my code before I check it in just to make sure I didn't make any stupid mistakes, which is always possible. So we're cr not creating an empty flask if you already have the corresponding full flask. And this is only for items that get created like on the ground or in an area. There's other ways to create items like AI can create items, story events can create items, so those other two things, that's why those other ones already work. Rob the Swan, man! What's up? Yeah, there we go, okay. So I'm committing that to root. I've got multiple branches for Songbringer now. It's crazy, it's kinda hard to keep track. But it's working. Rob, what's up, man? Things are going really well. 
Um, Songbringer just launched on Friday. So, sweet, dude. You got a copy of it? Thank you. How have you been, man? How's your game coming? All right, one bug down. Oh, you taking time off? Burned out? I hear you. Yeah, how many how many years have you been working on that? Right, quicker things. Cool, good to hear. Space, my name. What's up, man? Thank you. Thank you. It is so great to have this launch all finished. Yeah, just under two years. Whoa. There's like, there were so many little things to get straight and get correct for, for launching the game and people to email and sleepless nights making sure everything is just all perfect, you know? God, I was worried. I was like, what if there's a bug? What if there's some game-breaking bug that I haven't found yet? But there wasn't, thankfully. Scissor, what's up, man? Sales are growing great. Yeah, they're, um, we got a steady incline of sales going on, which is really great to see. It looks like Songbringer is going to be a success. Um, it's hard to tell right at first because, like, basically, um, you don't know whether sales are going to keep up or whatever. So after, you could ask me again in a month, and I'll be able to tell you with a lot more certainty. But I'm pretty sure that Songbringer will be, like, a, average level success on steam which is much better than a failure i'll tell you that <laughs> but it's going really well actually yeah and what's what's super great is the reviews on steam i'm blown away like right yeah you you got it right the steam reviews man this they're crazy good and then also there hasn't been any assholes in the steam forum and I was prepared for that. I'm like, man, there's going to be assholes commenting, giving me hate messages and stuff. But there really hasn't been much hate, which is weird, almost, but good. Maybe that's just, I don't know what that means, but that's cool, right? It's nice for me. It's definitely emotionally easier. This bug. Okay, when, when you walk off screen at just the right time, you can leave dialogue on the screen forever. But it's only if you walk off the screen at just the right moment. But players have reported this, and I've noticed this on several runs, so it's, it must not be that hard to duplicate. So, this bug I can find in World Wizard if I don't have the story element for, I think it's Bike Crash, Bike Crash 1. Oh yeah, you got that bug too? Yeah, right, yeah. So it's definitely something that people are experiencing. So I'm gonna get this fixed right away. It'll depend on how involved this fix is, whether it gets committed to root. Um, it's the location for this one. I know I always get it when I talk to the dude with the bike crash. I think it's at like 13.4 around, something like that. You just bought it? Man, I appreciate that so much. Um, also, what's really exciting is, is now it's, now that it's out, I can focus on cool stuff to add to it. Like there's gonna be a new, there's gonna be new items, um, a new ability, like a new combat ability, that's going to be really probably my, my, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the new combat ability. Um, I'm experimenting with it still, but it'll, it'll probably be either a parry um, or a charged attack or both of those mixed together. That was, that's going to be really fun to develop. And then there's also going to be a defensive item. So it's like armor. You'll be able to find that. Rob, yes, of course. You can stream it 
any totally it's the game's out there's no it's it's already released you can stream it totally feel free so I got rid of the dot the, the story elements this should be everything oh okay There's that bike crash. Where is where is this other bike crash at? In the right world. Oh, maybe it's just lower. Maybe it's this way. Oh, here we go. This is it right here. Nice. Okay. So the thing is, you gotta get this guy to trigger some dialogue. Actually, I want to save it with that dialogue already finished. So he triggers this other line. Mm -hmm, yeah, baby. Oh, and you walk off screen. Did it work? No. Okay, I gotta turn on like God mode or something to do this. All right, man. Cool. Good night. See you, Rob. Right. There's a lot of it. What's up, Al Jance? Lurking? You bought two copies, man? That's awesome. I will, man. I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming updates and making a game even better. So I'm paying attention to everything everybody's saying. All the, the little glitches people are running into. There's not a lot of them, but there's you know a few things that people have been mentioning, and I just want to get those fixed, and also just get the new features going and stuff. Oh, cool! You bought one for a friend, dude. That's rad. So we'll put this in God mode, and then I can run off the screen fast. And it should, if I walk off the screen what, with this dialogue still there, it should forever come back. Yeah, okay, so see now, if I, whenever, whenever I walk to the west, which is the same direction, it'll always be there. Which means I know exactly what this is. Basically, there's certain... Um, certain sprites and other graphics and stuff like that can get stuck in a certain way. Yeah, no, I've already, that's already been, been something I'm doing every day. So all the way leading up to the game's launch, there's been streamers contacting me and saying, Hey, I'd love to stream the game. And can I get a, can I get a review key? And stuff like that. And basically the way it works is with Keymailer. Keymailer is really great because it vets people. It gets them to ver be verified. So I can verify that it, the streamer is actually who they say they are. And they do have a certain size of a following before I give them a key. So that's really neat. And yeah, several several people um, that I've given to keys to so far have had more than 100,000 followers and stuff like that. So... I don't know if all of them have played the game yet, but I'll be checking on that. Keymailer is also pretty cool because it does check, like, you gave a key to this person, and here's how much they played the game, and here's how many times they did a stream, and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. So what could keep dialogue? Yep, it totally is. Which is great for an indie like me that doesn't have, I don't have any money to invest in marketing. But thankfully my publisher does. So it's been really great having Double Eleven, you know, to, um, you know, get the game on Xbox and PlayStation. But also they've been helping out with marketing, you know, marketing and getting the game to expos and all that. That was a big part of, I think, making this a successful launch was the fact that they 
had, you know, gotten Songbringer to PAX and GDC and E3 and all that. And it was also fun to dress like a wizard. So, everybody has a dialogue component, and dialogue component should be removing itself. Yeah, it totally should. The dialogue component... Wait a minute. Oh, it's just the dialogue component holds a pointer. It does get rid of the sprite and the layer. You thought that was just daily? <laughs> here, so here's something to verify. I can put the breakpoint there just to make sure it is, in fact, getting that dialogue component to destruct. That's, that's step one. Okay, good. This looks like it's actually hitting that. Right? Isn't this it? Any remove component. System and destroy now. I can't really tell if this is this is in fact that guy but Oh, it's not releasing the sprite. Oh, that's right, because it does. Okay, dialogue works totally different than everything else. How does it do that? Hmm. So I'll go to the dialogue function. I wonder how this bug got into the game, because it's it wasn't this way always. So it creates the dialogue. Where? Okay, the label is a label glitch being created, but its parent. What's its parent? Its parent is dialogue layer. There's also the clear layer. Gosh, I think this clear layer function should be what's called when the component is destructed. In fact, that's probably worth a shot at first. Right, that shouldn't hurt anything. Whenever a dialogue component is destructed, it clears its own layer. Yeah, that should work. Because there's a few entities that don't ever destruct themselves, like the main heroes. They have dialogue components.
Oh, it worked, but it's see, it's still visible. His layer. Oh, what happened? Damn, it crashed. In the clear layer as well. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do this when you're killing. Uh, hmm. Don't want to do this when the game is quitting. Like, if you're quitting the game, you shouldn't worry about clearing out dialogue components. Hmm. Oh, I got it. When you move entities, that's a much safer way to do it. So when you, whenever you move a single entity from one area to another, or no, when you delete, yeah, sorry, it should be when you delete entities. Delete entities. Wait, doesn't the story system have like a clear all dialogue? Or maybe it's dialogue component. Show all, is that it? Hmm. Oh no, that's for when you want to hide it when it's pausing the pausing everything. I know the story system has some kind of clear cancel all dialogue or clear dialogue. Yeah, yeah, it's totally it right there, clear layer. So just clear dialogue. Oh no, but that's only for entities that are getting removed. Yeah, yeah, so this does need to be like this. Auto dialog equals entity get dialog component. So, and also the layer should be set visible false.
Okay. That should be safer and also fix the fact that the dialogue left behind its its window thing last time. Nice, it worked. Cool. Yes. Okay, something to make sure that still works though um, is if you can, you should be able to walk off the screen while Rock and Jib are having some dialogue. Like, there's some, some story elements that play. I think one's called Where and What. Both of those should trigger. Nice, he's still working there. Now, if um, I gotta get him to trigger one of those two, there we go, what'd you say? I can walk off and it doesn't break, good. Good, 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 okay. So yeah, I didn't break any of the existing functionality and I think I fixed the bug, so. Step in this fire too. Sweet. Yeah, I think that's a good bug fix. It's also a short one. Yeah. I'm glad this one got fixed so quickly. That's safe, right? Whenever you're clearing a dialogue component, you definitely want its layer to be invisible. And then... Yeah, this is... And then it gets destroyed right away anyways, right after that. I should put a comment here at least, though. Okay, and I do think this is safe enough to be even pushed into uh, this bug fix update I'm going to be releasing probably tonight. Alright, so fix dialogue remaining on screen after... All right, I can cross that one off the list. Okay, oh yeah, that's something I should try. Ultra wide support. I think there's a way I can quickly try this. So some people have been requesting this where you can play in 21 by 9 resolution and 
I, of course, need to play in windowed mode. Let's get another window ratio. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It's gonna have, so I did the calculations on this. It's gonna have like 40 less pixels, like a lot less pixels almost, maybe 50. But so that's, that's like 25 pixels on the top of the screen and 25 pixels on the bottom of the screen missing. So I either would have to create extra content on the sides. Oh, it still didn't work. Oh, probably because I've got some constraints set up. Where does it do that? Oh, there it is, max ratio. So if the max ratio was 21 by nine instead of 16, I think it should allow this, even though it's, you're missing a lot of pixels here without doing it a real deeper look at how to fix that and add this feature of ultra wide support. This is like the quick fix style. Let's see what it looks like. Right. Okay. So it is it's, now it's allowing this wide screen, it's ultra wide display, but it's, yeah, it's clipping off a lot of stuff on the bottom of the screen and the top. So the black pixels, I could just, that's pretty easy to fix, but the fact that you can't see yourself up here in the top, this is not something I can just release easily. Thank you, Mal, appreciate it, man. Good night. Have a good one, man. Hmm. So one thing I could try maybe is making the lens wander go farther. How would that work though? Yeah, unfortunately this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Probably what needs to happen is either the camera needs to do some serious motion to like show you what's down and what's up. And you basically need, you would, you would, it would need to consider like that it's zoomed in the whole time. So that's, that would be one way of fixing it, but it would take a while. And then the other way would be to add extra content to the sides that's, um, that's just there. Well, I mean, that, and that's already what I do for the Y edges for when you're on a more squarier resolution. So that probably would be a better way to do it. Try, rather than trying to jankily hijack the game into moving its camera better, like it'd be better just to like put more content on the sides of the screen to make that work. So wait a minute. I can try that. It's not that hard to change that. There's some it's already got everything working or mar something margin, tile margin, there we go. 
Tom Argent X, what if that was something like five on each side? So it just puts a lot of content on the sides. If this works, I'll um, that'd be crazy. Oh, the camera, okay, it's not set up, it's not designed that way, so that it shows you that kind of stuff. You would need to actually zoom out the camera purposefully. Yeah, this is all just trickier than I thought. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is undo my changes and move this back this is requested by one person so far, and it's not something I can just easily fulfill and say, hey, here, there's ultra-wide support now. I need to actually intentionally do this. So I'm going to undo my changes and move this kind of more farther down on my list because there's more important things to do at first. All right, so I'm going to get check out game and world. No changes now. And I can move this later, like further out, down on the list. Ultra wide support. Whoops. Well, so I think that's gonna be it for this stream. I got a couple bugs fixed. That was Gary. That was a uh, really productive, actually. Um. I'll be fixing a couple more bugs tonight, and then I'll probably upload this to Steam right away, because these are some really fundamental bug fixes that really don't affect much else. So, like, for example, the dual monitor support on Linux. That's really easy to add to the game without any worries. Like, it's not like Linux dual monitor support's going to affect the Windows version, you know? Super easy to add that. And at worst, it just won't work for people on Linux, and then I can get that fixed. But I've already tested it on Linux, so this should be fine. Yeah, Clone Geek, what's up, man? Thank you. I will. You have a good night, too. We'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.